Let's talk about history and education for a minute. Look around the valley with its sprawling freeways and housing developments, and it's hard to imagine a city, uh, a time when this city wasn't here. But the fact is that for thousands of years, before we ever got here, the Pima and Maricopa people have called the Gila River Indian community their home. Their artwork and their culture are still alive today. And if you love history and would like to know more about the Native American culture in Arizona, we've got a great family retreat to tell you about. And joining us now from the Sheraton Wild Horse pass is Stephanie Heckathorn and Matt Verville. Nice to see you. Thank nice you. to be here. Thank you for having us. So tell people a little bit about the people that we're really going to be studying during this action-packed weekend. The Pima and the Maricopa people that make up Gila River Indian community have such a rich culture and heritage and the Sheraton Wild Horse Pass does everything to relay that story to our guests and this program is just one of the ways we do that. Yeah. The kids have a lot of activities that they get to do. Tell us a little bit about some of that. Um, on Saturday morning we spend time uh, making walking sticks uh, that are made of saguaro ribs. They do are donated by Emil Pedro himself. Mm -hmm. um, we fl uh, flint nap arrowheads in the afternoon. And there's a lot of beading that goes along and painting. Uh, those are some of the arts and crafts that go along with their culture that we then communicate and explore and kind of dive into. So you're learning the culture. I understand you also put bells on the sticks so people know to, they're kind of sh shaking it so that the, the snakes stay away. So you're learning a little bit about the desert and yeah. a little bit about the people all at once. There are so many aspects to their culture. And these are just the little things that just get expressed throughout the day. Kids just take home like these um, like a large amount of nuggets of information. They just yeah. have a blast with it. They also have, which is really cool over there, this is a little um, kind of a, a, a hiking pack that they get as well. And tell me what comes in here. Absolutely. That there well, too. Um, in, in our exploration of the culture and the desert and the things that surround us, we've provided them with a compass and a notepad and a pencil. And these are things that we use throughout the day for them to take notes. When they find a fun, interesting fact, they jot it down. And then after we do most of the arts and crafts, we go outside and everything's very hands on. So they're taking the knowledge that they've learned inside the classroom, if you want to say, mm -hmm. and bringing the real life back to them yeah. as we're outside. It's so so when we're, we're when we're at Wild Horse Pass, um, tell us about some of the grounds around it. And the kids are going to be outside really exploring a little, aren't they? Absolutely. On such beautiful reservation land, we have um, a riverway through there. And the kids are really walking out with Matt and Emil, using their walking sticks to explore the flora, the fauna. And and lands like this that exist where in metropolitan Phoenix it's really hard to find these wide open spaces. Mm -hmm. Great views of South Mountain and they're looking for animal tracks, prints, and they're really finding out from Emil, who is a tracker, a desert tracker, yeah. what are the best ways to be safe in the desert? What do I need to be smart about? Am I drinking enough water? What, si what side of little holes might be for this kind of desert critter? So there's a lot of little exploration nuggets for the kids that yeah. come out and do these weekends. What about for parents? What are they doing during all of this? Well, am, I, am I at the spa? <laughs> <laughs> you, you sure you can, can be. be. You but can a be. lot of our parents have wound up saying, I want to make an arrowhead. Yeah. My kids are loving what they're learning about the culture. Yeah. Can we hang out in here? Right. And we love to have them if they want to. And then this, tell us about this weekend. What are the dates for this? Because I know it's coming up this month. Yeah, July 29th through 31st. So check in that Friday night. There's activities kicking off our CSI Native Weekends beginning Friday. Things all day Saturday and end the weekend Sunday morning by making Native American Chimuth breakfast. And we started all with some s'mores and some Native American songs right around the campfire. So it sounds like so much fun. You, do you do this year round? Is this something that the share and Wild Horse Pass is really committed to educational classes and fun things for the kids. Yeah, in the summertime we really um, bulk up our family programming because with the kiddos out of school, Yeah. but throughout the year a lot of our programming is really centered on the cultural education. Okay, the cost is 115 a night if you're interested in uh, signing up and you can go to our website for more information. Stephanie and Matt, thanks so much for being with Thank us. You. We appreciate Thank it. Thank you for having us. Looks like a fun weekend.